five questions men should avoid asking women at all times. We'll start from the bottom and then we'll go to the top with the top five. At the five slot. Oh, I know you got a boyfriend, but can you have friends? Okay, that is a horrible line to use. Because number one, if a woman says she has a boyfriend, either A, she really has a boyfriend, or B, she's just not interested in you. And she's trying to be nice. So you shot your shot. Don't sit there and devalue yourself like, yo, I just want to be an orbiter. I just want to be maybe an option for you. Never, ever make yourself look like an option when you're trying to be the priority. So this whole you got friends thing, can you have friends? It sounds stupid. Don't do that. Number four, how many guys have you slept with? The reason why that's really a stupid question to ask a woman is first and foremost, she's not going to tell you. Number two, if it's more than three partners, you're going to look at her different and you're going to be like, oh man, she's for the streets, etc. You're not going to value her the way she wants to be seen. And most importantly, she's not telling you anyway because women count partners differently. She's counting the boyfriends, the serious relationships. She's not going to count the one night stand. She's not going to count the trip to Cabo. She's not going to count homecoming or any other little excursion she had. So it don't even make sense for you to ask that question. You'll know once you get an opportunity to lay down with it, if that opportunity presents itself. So never ask a woman how many sexual partners she's had. Number three, what kind of guys do you like? This is a stupid question for a multitude of reasons. Number one, you got to be you. All right. And if a woman likes you, she's going to make everything easy. If she don't, she's going to make everything hard. Women know what they like within a minute of meeting you. OK, so you ain't got to ask her what kind of guys she like. You need to be yourself. It's almost like asking for a cheat code in a video game. You're not gonna get it. And it's probably a turn off to the woman. Don't ask that question. At the number two slot, what do you expect me to do about it? This is a line men say when they get frustrated because the woman is going on and on. But you have to understand, unlike men, women get great comfort from somebody just hearing them, listening to them. You've gotta let them talk. And when you say, as a man, what do you expect me to do about it? It comes across as dismissive. And also, they don't understand that. Men are always like, look, you need to do X, Y, and Z. We're all solution-oriented. Women are about nurturing. They want to be heard. They want you to listen to them. And in that, they will find comfort. So just shut up, listen to what she got to say, and say, I understand. And the number one thing to never say to a woman, damn, girl, are you on your period or something? <laughs> this is a mistake a lot of young guys make and it usually comes out of frustration when a woman is being emotional or speaking about something passionately it comes across as saying you're irrational you're crazy and there must be some reason why you're talking or thinking or speaking in the way that you are and that's not always the case and that will dry up the peach quicker than anything else so never ever say to a woman are you on your period when she's being emotional or she's passionate about something in discussion? Just let it play out. Let her finish what she got to say. You can say you disagree or, you know, you see it a different way. But that is a very dismissive line. And that's not always the case. They're not always PMSing or on their period. So just to reiterate the list again. Number five. I know you got a boyfriend, but can you have friends? Number four. How many guys have you slept with? Number three, what kind of guys do you like? Number two, well, what do you want me to do about it? And number one, are you on your period or something? Remember these five things and avoid saying them to a woman unless you want to either end the relationship or not even get out the gates to begin with. Women hate these kind of statements. And ladies, for the record, put in the comments section some other statements you hate to hear besides these five. It's probably going to be a part two of this.